Okay, it's me back again. Well, yeah, I've been playing around with this all night. My first video is actually still uploading, so I'm making this before I've even uploaded the first video. But what I've done is I've added just one more capacitor. So basically there's three. Um, I've got a voltmeter across the capacitors now, so I can watch the voltage on the capacitors. Um, gone back to 9 volts, but what I have done is put two neons across, and they're in series, so that's 180 volts instead of just 90 or at least should be now and everything else is the same just nothing actually plugged into the output it's just a lead and that's nothing like that. so you can see that's all I've got now I'm not connecting the positive I'm connecting the negative this time I'm just doing that straight to the capacitor but you can see the capacitor is connected to the emitter of the um, transistor there. Now here's the funny thing. And I believe this shows the AC nature of the transient spikes or the ether itself. Because, well the way I figure it is, when, I'll just show you. I'll put, see, now we've got 9 volts, so 9 volts, no spikes, but it is resonating. It's no spikes on that though. But, I'll take the negative away. You can see the voltage is starting to drop. So it is resonating, but no spikes, which means one way we're not getting enough to light both those neons. I was before for a split second, but maybe, I don't know, something's happened, but, so we're down again, okay, so we'll charge it back up, we're back at 9 volts, okay, here's the funny thing, and I'll let go of the, the negative so that I don't get main shock here, so it's not that, negative, if I touch in between, they both come on, so it's coupling to me right now. And it's still going. You can see it's down to 2.2 volts. Still going. Still going. Down to 1.1 volt. And now it stopped. So it's coupling to me. Now, being crazy as I am, what I figured to do is I charged this capacitor. And then by holding this and having that happen, with my other hand, I touch the top of that capacitor. And boy, did I get a shock. So that's real power there that's coming through that can be used. If I can get shocked, see, I let go. It's really weird the fact that I have to hold that or I have to have a virtual ground just turn that back on so 9 volts I have to either be grabbing that or I can have a virtual ground as you can see I've got a virtual ground, I'm using my little guy here, he's all steel I'm connecting this green wire to him not this one but this one. Yeah. Let's zoom out. See, it's not on at the moment. See? They come on. Now this is the weird look at the pulse. That's actually what I'm seeing as well. So the camera's seeing it correctly. And then when I let go, because I'm still charging, when I let go brakes brakes okay I think that's just a bad connection yeah there we go 
but that's still 90 on one side, 90 on the other at 1.5 volts. It's still ringing and don't touch the ground to like the top of the cap. Now let me just try an experiment. Don't think you'll be able to see this. Let me see. It's the caps. Let's start. Okay. See, if I touch the negative, I get a slight shock. Ow. But if I touch the top, oh crap. Now that is interesting. Look at that, and the neon still, one of the neons still going. That is really weird. Let's charge it up again. Now take the positive off as well. So there's no power supply, just these capacitors and just the resonance in that and this whole thing. Ow. Yeah. That's that's a good zap there. And look, it's it's still resonating. It's coupling with me. It's the only way I can explain it. It's actually the whole field is coupling with me and feeding back and looping through the whole system. Ow. But it doesn't sustain, obviously. It wears down. Okay. So I don't know if that actually came out. But um, hopefully maybe you'll be able to see it. I'll review and maybe...